So um, this video is about entropy profile diagrams and drawing them, and in an exam specifically worth about three marks. So uh, drawing an entropy profile diagram for below of the reaction, showing both energy changes given. So here your delta H is negative 226, and it's also showing your activation energy. So straight away you should look at this value, your delta H value. This shows you that it's an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reactions give out energy and have a delta H sign of negative. So energy profile diagrams for exothermic is that you have your reactants higher than your product. So you also need to actually label these and put your reactants on and also your product. These are nice easy marks for you to get. Okay, But just doing this and this alone you would get one mark. The next mark comes from showing that activation energy and labelling it. So in this case, activation energy starts from your reactants, align where your reactants is, all the way to the top of the curve. And labelling that would get you another mark. So the third and final mark comes from is labelling your delta H. So delta H for an exothermic reaction, your arrow has to go down. It starts from your reactants again and goes all the way to the product line. Okay? And negative arrow must go down, delta H, negative delta H. And that would get you three marks in the exam. So labelling your negative delta H, arrow going down for an exothermic reaction, labelling your activation energy arrow starting from your reactants up to the curve and then finally labelling your reactants and your products onto the diagram. So this time have a go at this question and pause the video. Okay so this is um, a very similar question. It drawn a top profile diagram for the reaction below like before. Um, this time it's for the production of hydrogen iodide and we have a delta H of positive 53 and an Ea of plus 183. So, what we should notice about this reaction is that we have a positive value. If it's positive, it's endothermic. Okay, endothermic this time. The reaction is taking in heat, whereas before it was an exothermic one, we're giving out heat. So this time, the reactants have to start lower than your products. So we have to label them again to get these marks okay so that'd be one mark for doing that straight away so the next mark comes from like we did earlier activation energy we start from the reactants we go all the way to the products and then labeling with your arrow starting from your reactants all the way to the top of that line labeling it ea Last and final mark comes from your delta H. So your delta H goes up this time. It's taking in energy. It's taking in energy. And we need to label it um, delta H equals positive. Okay, get rid of this, make it a bit cleaner. But the three marks again come from uh, labeling reactants and products. In this case, endothermic reaction, so your reactants have to be lower. Second one, doing your activation energy. And then the third one, your uh, delta H. Okay, and that's three easy marks for an exam.